Indeed. There's a documentary that shows us the incredible talents of none other than Little Richard. The docu will be called Little Richard, I Am Everything. The Tutti Fruity singer became one of the first rock stars to bust onto the scene with the song in uh, 1955. The documentary attempts to put Little Richard's complex legacy as a black queer man in the 1950s in context. Little Richard, I Am Everything will hit select theaters for one night only uh, this week. That's right. And joining us now is director of Little Richard, I Am Everything, Lisa Cortez. Welcome to Fox Soul's Black Report. Hi, everyone. Hi, Miss Lisa. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Well, uh, Miss Lisa, tell us what inspired you to make a documentary about Little Richard and his influence on rock and roll? Well, when Little Richard passed away in uh, May of the 2020, the pandemic, his music was everywhere. It brought me a lot of joy. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed that so many interesting people were talking about how he influenced him. Um, As a documentarian, I thought, oh, let me check out a documentary on him and realize that his story had not been told. And the more time I spent researching, I discovered that he gave us so much, Mm -hmm. not just the music, the fashion, the attitude, but he helped to shift the energy of culture. And he needs to be talked about. He needs to get his crown back. And um, more people need to know about all the ways that um, he should be elevated. Yes, and he made it very clear that he was not getting his flowers while he was physically with us. And with that in mind, how, how, Miss Lisa, did you navigate, you know, telling the story of Little Richard with this very complex, complicated world that he lived in, while also trying to highlight uh, and celebrate his impact on, on music history and an entire genre? Well, I started out by giving him the mic. Mm. You know, I did a lot of archival research with my team to make certain we could use his voice to narrate his story, to give him that agency that he oftentimes felt was denied to him. But then I also realized that oftentimes uh, Mr. Penniman was not the most reliable narrator. (laughs) And so I brought in Uh, interviews with great folks uh, ranging from Nona Hendrix and Nile Rogers to Mm. Mick Jagger and Tom Jones, uh, the incredible black and queer scholars um, to and his friends and family to be in conversation with some of the statements that Richard uh, gave us through the course of his life. And I just want to pick up on that thread because you're right, in the film, and it's a great film, I had a chance to watch it, uh, you interview family and musicians and, as you mentioned, black and queer scholars, but can you speak to the importance of including these perspectives in this documentary, particularly at this point in American history? Well, this, this, so many of the themes in this film are dealing with issues we are grappling with now. Black history, queer history is under attack. And what we all know is that the truth of history frees all of us. And if somebody is presenting laws against the teaching of the complexity of our histories, films like this are really important because they are deeply researched and they are an antidote for everyone who says, that black history should uh, not be taught, that black history does, is, does not have a place for all of our children to know about. So we know that uh, Little Richard was absolutely a trailblazer, especially for his self-expression, but also he, he struggled with his own identity. How did you approach uh, that uh, in this particular documentary? Well, you know, Richard tells us in himself that his journey is a bit of a roller coaster. Um, His origin story is one of contradictions. His father's a minister, Mm -hmm. he owns a nightclub, 
and he makes bootleg whiskey. <laughs> and, you know, Richard went to two different kind of churches. He went to the Holy Roller Church and he went to the Moore State Church. And Richard's on a roller coaster ride for a good portion of his life mm. because it is difficult for him to reconcile his devout relationship with God and on the polar opposite side, his lifestyle as a rock and roll sinner. Mm. And so he is literally going back and forth. He's at the top of his fame in the late 50s and he throws it all away and he goes to Bible college mm -hmm. because he wanted to be closer to the study and the ability mm -hmm. to deliver the word to other people. But then there are pressures that bring him back into uh, performing rock and roll again. And, and so, you know, I believe that he contained multitudes, mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes people are not able to embrace the complexities mm -hmm. they have within. I think in Richard, that's where a lot of the magic came from, which was the complexities. Yeah. Ms. Lisa, the, the film challenges the whitewashed canon of American pop music. Can you speak to the significance of, of telling stories like Little Richard's, um, not just in today's climate, you know, uh, in the United States, but considering what's happening in the world? Um, and before we go, also, please remind us uh, of the release date of the film so our soulmates can know when and where to go check it out. All right. Well, on April 21st, the film will be available theatrically and also on pay-per-view. Mm. So like you can buy it on Apple, Google, wherever you go. And you can also go in select cities and have that theatrical uh, experience. And it is a great one to see on the big screen. He has such a beautiful, expressive voice and, um, and he's beautiful to look at too. Um, and the music, you know, is going to bring back a lot of, of great memories. Um, you know, these stories are important because just as a culture elevated Elvis, it erased Richard. Mm. And when you are taken out of the narrative not only are your um, tremendous contributions, in the case of Richard, uh, left out of the history, but you know, uh, appropriation and obliteration is something that has happened and continues to happen to black cultural production. And so I think it is so important to make certain that this erasure be corrected mm -hmm. in the case of Little Richard. Of Little Richard. And we want to thank you uh, for putting this together for us to, to take a look at and to really take that in. Uh, Lisa Cortez, the brainchild behind this new documentary featuring uh, Little Richard. We thank you so much for your time. And, and we'll have to have you back after this thing launches and, and, and have more of a, of a discussion on this uh, incredible life. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much.